Hey guys, it's Di, and this is the highly requested video that a lot of people have asked about, and I thought I would do a follow-up video on wear and tear of the Louis Vuitton Insulate Wallet, and I've been using this for about three, almost four months now, so I thought I'd been using it long enough to kind of give you an initial opinion and overview on the wear and tear of this wallet. I've been using this as my exclusive wallet, other than just grabbing a few cards out and using a little grab-and-go pouch, but this has been the only wallet I've used for the past few months, and has been the main wallet I've used down inside my handbag. So you can still see that the white on the main part of the wallet looks very clean. And the number one thing, I will just go ahead and get this right out of the way, the number one thing that people have asked about with the multicolor is has it chipped? People are really worried about the screen print and I, to be quite honest have made me nervous um, saying that supposedly you know this part will chip, that the, the LVs will come off and, and you know can kind of even after a few months use start to look worn I have not experienced that personally obviously when I keep my things down in the bag I try to keep rubbing to a minimum I try not to overfill my bag and I wouldn't necessarily say I baby my things but I try to take good care of them and so far the insulate wallet has held up really really well you can see that there's no real chipping or issues with the screen print on the wallet at all and even on the edges where it's getting open and closed a lot I was really starting to look at those areas thinking I would see chipping around the edges and that has not happened either. So all in all, this wallet has been holding up pretty, pretty good. I mean, I have not had any issues with wear and tear in it. And obviously, it's been a fairly short time period. Most of the time for wear and tear, I try to make it a little bit longer. But because people were asking about this so much and really wanting to know how it's been holding up, I thought I would go ahead and do an initial wear and tear. A lot of people have been also asking about these card slots, about the cards moving around and that sort of thing. And I will say that they do move around a little bit, but it's not so much that you would actually like turn the wallet upside down and a card would slide all the way out. It may kind of slightly, you know, Know, slide me like maybe a few millimeters out of its position like kind of like you know this would be about as far as it would go but it wouldn't be enough to where it would slide all the way out and you'd lose the card and obviously that's only after about four months of use so if you've used this wallet exclusively for two years I don't know I maybe start to get a little bit more nervous about that and when I talked initially about my review on this style you know, I talked about it being a more open style, so that would be a concern with, you know, if things could start falling out freely on their own. I don't know I, that I would use it that much at that point because, you know, I like the security aspect of wallets. I, I'm still really enjoying using this. In fact, I'm thinking about eventually someday I will get another one of these. I like this one so much. The, you know, white has been holding up pretty good. I haven't really had any issues with it getting dirty or anything like that. And of course the pink leather on the inside is just adorable. I love the fact with these multicolor items that you can get the bright interiors. That really is a, a huge perk for these and I, I really love it. I like the bright colors. It just is another one of those things that makes me happy. So I really like that. So you can kind of see how this card as I've been talking slid down a little bit. And if I notice things have kind of gotten out of order I'll just kind of slide my fingers and put them kind of back into place but I haven't had any issues with cards totally falling out or anything like that at the top you know the zippers are all holding up really really well and this top area is my preferred zipper area I will say that this one's the easier one to get into it's really nice I like that you can just keep the wallet closed and get into this area very quickly so I put like grab-and-go items there if I get receipts I may toss them down in there and I've also been bad about just sticking receipts down in the middle and then snapping it shut which is probably kind of a bad thing um, but I have been doing that as well the one real negative thing and this isn't necessarily wear and tear it's just much a review issue on it this zippered area is a huge huge pain to use and I don't even use change that much I don't use cash and change like very often at all so I would definitely highly say just how I said in my review if you are a person that has to have change for you know public transportation or whatever you would be using it for you'd have to have a separate change thing. I don't see any other way around it. It gets stuck like down in the corners and it's so hard to just find out what you have down there and it's hard to get to. It's just really deep. The change thing goes all the way down in here and then the change gets collected down in the corners. And I don't use change that often. I decided one day when I was going through and getting like a drink or something through drive through that I would pay cash that day. I normally always use my card for everything. And 
I literally, I was, it was taking me so long to try to figure out what I had done in there. I had to just grab my card out and give it to them because uh, it's very hard to use. So obviously that's not wear and tear issue. That's just a general review issue, but I wanted to follow up and touch on that as well. So overall, you know, like I said at the beginning, it's been holding up very, very well. I personally have not had any issues with the multicolor print on this. And so far, actually, I've been enjoying using the multicolor so much with my cosmetic and with this wallet as well. I'm planning on more multicolor items in the future. So I really think that it's fairly durable. I don't know that I would put it into any harsh situations, but for just day, you know, day in, day out, daily use, it should be fine is my general assessment. I think it's pretty much just as hardy as Vernie is, and this wallet style has been holding up pretty good. I haven't had any issues with the snaps not closing as tightly as they once did or anything like that. They've been fairly robust as well. I haven't had a chance to use this D-ring yet, so I will follow up once I get one of those little chain loop things. I'm thinking maybe in the spring and summer would be handy just to use this as like a little like kind of grab and go clutch thing. And at that point, I might look at getting a little chain um, loop thing for this, and I'll do a review on that if I end up getting one of those. But so far, so good for the Insulate Wallet, and I'm really liking the style so far. So let me know what questions you guys have, and hopefully this wear and tear follow-up has been helpful for you. I haven't had any problems as of yet, but again, it's only been about four months. So I will follow up in the future after it's been a much longer duration of time, and let you know what issues I've had, if any, at that point. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.